Hey everyone, this is Delta, and I'm here with my uh, villager who's taking uh, Ziggy's role while he's just away. So this uh, villager over here that I've uh, nicknamed Bob will help us out on this video. So this video is going to be an extended or unknown update for the 1.1 update. Um, most of you know the basic stuff that came on the update. However, there was some, still some stuff that wasn't actually um, noted on the uh, page itself when you log in. However, if you're digging further, go through the uh, wiki page itself. So to begin with, um, fence gates um, have now a couple of new options. Uh, one of them is that the fact that they don't have any collision um, that's slightly different to the fence. Before, um, the fence gate itself, which is right here, um, had a different and strange collision mass where you'd actually walk into it and stop. Now you can walk along the fence quite easily and uh, without stopping at all. As well, the fence gates themselves are now powered by redstone, so you can now turn it off and on and some crate and create uh, an automated gate. Um, so I've got one over here that's a uh, double door set up like this and uh, you can uh, create an easy redstone setup by using some simple redstone. Um, however you do need to power the block either directly below it or the block behind it touching the gate itself. Um, so you will you'll, you'll need to power it like that just to get it to work. Up next we have some farming updates. Um, this was in the snapshot, so some of you already may know it. However, pumpkins and watermelons no longer have or need to have tilled soil underneath them. Um, only the stems themselves need to have tilled soil, whereas the dirt itself that supports the uh, the uh, watermelons and the um, pumpkins don't doesn't no longer needs to be tilled. Um, this could be used quite handily uh, within a uh, piston setup, so you can have a piston auto harvester that moves these blocks down and up and uh, the pumpkins come out and there's no need to till them again as its soil's already tilled and whatnot. As well as that we have some uh, updates with the farmland so now now you can now walk on the uh, farmland without actually um, disturbing it however if you still jump on it it um, still breaks the uh, and uh, disturbs it and picks up the stuff so it's still normal whereas before you kind of had to like shift shift walk and whatnot to get there. Up next, uh, we have the Magna Cubes. The Magna Cubes now drop, funny enough, Magna Cream. So Magna Cream before was achievable by using blaze powder and uh, some slime balls. Um, so now that you can, on a rare occasion, if you can get it right, actually gather Magna Cream. If we can do it, I haven't been successful yet. Anyway, they do drop it, so that's one thing. So this is the next addition to the update is for the blacksmith shop within the NPC village. Um, this update here is actually quite a big one. I wasn't too sure why it wasn't added um, into the description. It was just added within the Wikipedia article. But all blacksmith shops in the new uh, villages actually have a chest in them now. And this chest has some decent stuff in it actually. That's quite cool. I wasn't Like I said, I wasn't too sure why it wasn't included in the description. Instead, you yeah, have to dig for it kind of. That's a really cool idea and, and uh, gives some reward of actually finding these rare shops themselves. A new addition to the update, which is quite interesting also, is the fact that we can now actually obtain apples without going through dungeons. So apples drop from leaves or trees at a rate of 0.5%, so that's about 1 in 200 um, leaves broken chance. I haven't found one yet, I've been breaking every now and then. Um, which they haven't occurred, so it's very rare, but it actually now gives us an like, opportunity and actual way to actually get the apples without going through the dungeons or and what not. So that's pretty much it in terms of what they actually added to the game itself. Um, however, a couple of bug fixes such as the sniper dual achievement was bugged out, the powered rail non-depowering bug, which the power rail itself would um, stay powered even though the power to the rail was disconnected. Um, that had an issue with the with it not being updated and whatnot, and vice versa. They also fixed the powered the powered rail failed to update bug, which is a bug where you place a rail down underneath a power source, and yet it won't power until you update the block next to it. So this is a quick little fixes themselves, um, which is quite good because I know it's quite frustrating to having to muck around with some powered rails and they won't update and they won't power and whatnot. That's pretty much it. Um, just a heads up as well, there has been a couple of bugs noticed with this release itself. Um, there's a major crash bug 
within the loading screen for some users, and it's also possible to um, fall through a farmland um, on the edge of it when walking, like on the edge of it, it's possible to fa fall through to your block below. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, um, hope you enjoyed it. This is a kind of an unknown update. Most of the stuff kind of pushed aside um, and put onto the Wikipedia article itself. So it's good to kind of cover the stuff so you guys actually understand what's actually in it alongside of the major stuff that we covered before. So in, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next video. And uh, from myself and Bob, we'll catch you later and see you the next time.